Good morning, everyone. Today is the 2nd of January, 2022, Sunday morning. You know, many who hold to the sovereignty of God have been asked, if God is sovereign, why pray? Everything's ordained from the foundation of the world anyway. <laughs> why pray? Well, the answer to that is because God has ordained prayer. Prayer in itself is God's decree. <clears throat> and if God has ordained prayer, there's no way prayer is not going to happen. You ever thought about that? If God has ordained prayer, prayer will happen. In fact, we are told to pray without ceasing. <laughs> Prayer is a part of the counsel of God who works all things after the counsel of his own will, and one of them is prayer. And so when we pray, God has ordained every word that we say. I'm a poet and don't know it this morning. <laughs> when we pray... God has ordained everything that we say. Sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take a psalm and bring hither the timbrel, the pleasant harp of the psaltery. He hath put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it in fear and shall trust in the Lord. Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Paul thanked God and took courage. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> prayer is ordained by God. Praise is ordained by God. First Thessalonians 5.17 says, pray without ceasing. And so a lot of Armenians <clears throat> and others have charged those who hold to the sovereignty of God with being not consistent because we um, uphold prayer. <laughs> Jesus Christ prayed all night long in one place it says in the Bible. And if God didn't ordain prayer, why would he have taught us how to pray, saying the Lord's Prayer, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. We have the high priestly prayer taught in John 17. Christ praying to his Father. <clears throat> so prayer is ordained by God. And every word that we say, God has ordained it. Everything we do, God has ordained it. You say, well, you're a fatalist. No, I'm not a fatalist. A fatalist is one that just believes in chance. I don't believe in chance. I believe everything is ordained by God. Yes, I believe in the absolute predestination of all things. People get all bent out of shape when I say that. <clears throat> Either God predestinated some things, he predestinated none thing, no thing, nothing, <laughs> or he predestinated all things. What's Ephesians say? It says that he works all things after the counsel of his own will, not some things. He didn't predestinate just the who. He also predestinated the what. And the where. And the when. <laughs> where, what, when, and why. That's how God works. God um, predestinated evil. 
You say, oh, you're making God the author of sin. Try reading the Isaiah 45th chapter of Isaiah. It says, I create light, I create darkness, I create evil. I, Lord, do all these things. Amos says, is there not evil in the city and the Lord hath not done it? God created both elect angels and non-elect angels. And by the way, a non-elect angel was was Lucifer, and he fell and brought a third of the angels with him to the earth. And that's why we have all these devils down here on the earth today, working amongst men. <clears throat> yes, devils are influencing people like Bill Gates and Fauci and Joe Biden and Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton and the Rockefellers, and the Rothschilds, and George Soros, and all the other um, evil men. Scripture tells us evil men will seduce and wax worse and worse. And perilous times will come. I had a guy yesterday on brand new to rebuke me because I was pointing out some of these evil things and he says, you're not consistent. I thought you believed in the sovereignty of God. <laughs> he didn't say it quite that way. I'm paraphrasing, but that's get consistent, boy. <laughs> There's nothing more consistent than, than <clears throat> portraying, <clears throat> proclaiming the Bible. And that includes praying without ceasing. I'm sure he'll say something about this one this morning. How can you say that tell everybody to pray when God's already ordained everything that's happened anyway? <laughs> well, that's what's on my mind this morning. I hope you have a blessed day. And you are in our prayers. God has ordained that you be in our prayers. And we want to continue to remember Tori, who's having some health issues. Remember Tom, who's having some vocational issues. I want to remember John Abacito up in Canada, Louise up in Minnesota, Walter down in Oregon, um, Robert over in Oklahoma working, um, Mr. Orr up in Nebraska, Adiola up in Canada, uh, the Phillips over here in Missouri, Mark and Rosette and Larry, and don't forget um, to remember Rick Batoric and J. Michael Oosterman down in California, as well as uh, George, <clears throat> just to name a few. I hope I haven't forgotten anybody. Remember M.J. Adelis, Abelis? Rose Fenton up in the United Kingdom, Rita Beckett over in New Jersey. God has his remnant, and uh, his church isn't as local as it used to be. <laughs> I mean, he still has a local church right here in Pineville. We're a local church of three, but we're scattered. His remnant is scattered throughout all the world. Well, may the good Lord be with you today is my prayer. God bless.